Hi, I'm Rebecca Ropes and welcome back to my channel. If you guys saw the last video I uploaded, you saw that I had a surprise bathroom makeover. So cool. But you know what happened? It's what I call the domino effect. That's right, when you start one project, sometimes it kind of leads to the next thing and the next thing. And so, although I didn't intend to redo my bedroom at the same time, once I saw how my bathroom turned out, it was just obvious. I needed to take this on into my bedroom. So welcome to my new master bedroom suite. In phase one of the evolution of this bedroom, there were two things I absolutely had to change before I could even consider moving in. One was the wallpaper. And the second was the floor. I'm sorry, blue carpet, I'm, I, just, I just couldn't. We obviously painted. Wow, you guys are fast. But we changed the flooring out to hardwood flooring upstairs. One last little thing as I was walking around the job site when the guys were doing the work before we moved in, there was a really weird opening above this. They did some weird stuff. So I said, Kyle, close that in. This used to have a six foot eight height double doors. They were solid doors. I took those out and I raised the ceiling height as high as I could, almost to an eight foot door height, and then added these two beautiful French doors with the paneling on the bottom and the frosted glass. The truth of the matter is the way I had evolved this room and made some construction and important decisions along the way, it set me up for success to change it from, as I said, the domino effect of my bathroom on into here. Essentially, all I needed was one big, huge can of paint, a couple of new pillows and some new lamps, and I was good to go. Oh, and a floor rug, really cool one. During phase one, I also knew without a doubt before we moved into this home, I needed a bigger closet. Have you seen what the closet looked like before? Big enough for me, perhaps? but I was married at the time. So we needed more place to store our clothes. Look at this. I added these Ikea wardrobe pieces. Now they come in a mirrored front. Do you see what it added? Not only so much storage for clothes, for boots, for jewelry, whatever I had, I could put in this thing. Now that I'm single, hello, I use both closets and I still could use a little more space, just saying. Making some wise choices in phase one set me up to go on to what I call phase two. You know what that is? It's basically furniture, art and accessories and window treatments. Those things changed over the years. And today I'm at the place where I'm very happy with my furniture. Some pieces stayed, some pieces have gone but keeping with a really neutral palette. All of this furniture and this bedding was here in one of my earlier stages. But by changing a few of the accessories, I've changed the total feel of this room, which now makes it go with what I did in my bathroom. I changed out my pillows on my bed. I also changed out my lamps. I have these beautiful lamps and you guys have seen them before. They've been in my office. They've been in my living room at Christmas time. These guys get around as does just about everything in my house. I even have a lamp over here next to my television on my dresser. Yeah, that was in my office on Presidio. So just by changing up some of these black accents, I still have the same art which goes great with the black. I still have my television and my, my wooden carved screens. All of that's the same, but it feels a little different. And I have the addition of fresh green plants, which is huge right now. And you know what? I know how to take care of them. These are gifts from my son who has Jimmy's Jungle on Instagram. He's amazing. He knows how to grow anything. He got me a thermometer. So I take the temperature, which actually tells me if they need water or not, and I know when to water so I'm not overwatering, I'm not underwatering, and I can actually have live plants in my home. And you know what I think kind of pulled this whole thing together and made such a difference? The area rug. So you tell me, 
take a look at the before picture of what it was like in here last week and what it looks like in here this week. Just the change of an area rug, some lamps, and some pillows, and what a difference a can of paint can make. So let's take a look at what my closet looked like before. Then it evolved to this, but it was always a band-aid. It was never really done professionally. It was what can I do on a budget as I'm cleaning out my closet. As I was doing my bathroom, it was just kind of, again, the domino effect of, well, now I took my closet doors off and here in phase three, we raised the header height and we cased the opening. But what that did was it exposed my clothes even more and they did not look good. Uh, if I was gonna bring everything back in and put it on those white poles, no. Uh, so my friend Oscar, who's been one of my cabinet builders for years came in and we devised these very simple boxes that actually hang from the ceiling, which eliminated that need to put that triangular bracket to hold the weight. This is all ceiling mounted and mounted against the wall, so it's super strong. It just allowed me to have such a upgraded look without spending a lot of money. I even have in here a floor to ceiling mirror. Uh, back in the day, phase one, I didn't have this cabinet here. Turns out I need it. I need to have a place to put my clothes that I use on a daily basis. Thinking logically, think left to right, day to night, right? Just like you read. Also think top to bottom. So up here, I have my upper unmentionables, which I wear in the day. And down here, I have my lower un unmentionables, which I wear in the day. Then at night, I have my upper pajama tops and my lower pajama bottoms. Make sense? It makes getting dressed and making your decisions not only easy, but kind of fun. So you'll see here, all of my white blouses are hung together. I wear white a lot, that's what I'm wearing today. All of my workout clothes down here. Now these pretty much stay exactly like this all the time because they don't work out that much. But if I wanted to, they would be there. These pendant lights, I just think they are so moody and so cool. And look, it's on a dimmer. So I can turn it all on and then I can dim it as low as I want. Do you see that? Super moody. So over the years, I've collected some purses and bags. Sometimes I buy them from vintage stores. Sometimes I buy them from Nordstrom, to be honest. And I was able to place my handbags across the top. This is my idea of a fun way to dress. Okay, so I decide, okay, I'm gonna decide to wear this little purse. It's an envelope that I bought. I still haven't used it, but you know if I did, and I think I will, I would probably pick something like this shirt, this blouse with that bag, and I would come over here and I would pick out some really cute black pants to go with it. Look at that. And after that, I would select my glasses, my sunglasses, and I'd probably go with these because of the silver knob here and the silver frames here. What do you think? Hold on, I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So I'm out at market shopping for my clients. I'm wearing this and I put this under my arm. Cute. Last video, you got a really good look at the bathroom and what we did. So I'm not gonna go into it here, but let me just tie everything up and finish off this video by saying good design is not something that happens overnight for most of us. It's something that is a process. And it also is connected to the seasons of our life. I guess the point of this video is to end it here in the bathroom, which is what started this entire domino effect in the first place, and just say, I'm super happy with how all this turned out. I'd love to hear what you guys think. I would love if you give this video a thumbs up, of course. And if you're not a subscriber to my channel, why? Because it's so simple. If you are a subscriber, be sure to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and that way you'll know every time I put up a new video. All right, you guys, it all came together. It's done. 
Uh, I'm looking forward to sleeping in my bedroom tonight for the first time and using my bathroom for the first time because now it is complete and now I am ready to get on to this next season of my life. See you guys next time. You know that I love you. Bye. I mean to tell you, I think that if I take my bedroom, my new bathroom, and my closet and I put them all together, <laughs> It just ate my sleeve, okay.